Hello and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel Corrosion Control and Inspections. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion and its preventive measures, non-destructive as well as destructive inspections, welding, metallurgy, coating selections and paintings as well as asset integrity assessments related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos. In this video we will discuss what is certification scheme for welding inspection personnel, CSWIP or CSWIP, who is a welding inspector. What are the contents of a CSWIP certification exam? What is the exam pattern for passing CSWIP exam? What is closed book examination content for passing CSWIP exam? What is open book examination content for passing CSWIP exam? What is the minimum percentage required to pass the CSWIP exam? How to pass CSWIP in first go? How do I verify a CSWIP certificate? C-SWIP is an international scheme accredited by the United Kingdom Accreditation Service, UKAS. C-SWIP scheme certifies and assures personnel competence to 17,024. For instance, personnel engaged in welding, joining, materials integrity and inspection in manufacturing, construction, operation or repair of high integrity structures, plant or machinery. Welding inspection typically consists of a series of quality control checks carried out by welding inspectors. It ensures welded joints meet required levels of quality and are fit for purpose. Welding inspectors are responsible for inspecting and assessing the quality and strength of welding work. Their job is to ensure welds are safe and ready to function as part of the device or structure. Welding inspectors also inspect the equipment used and ensure welders adhere to company and state safety regulations. Basically, inspectors need to know about everything related to welding. They need to be knowledgeable about applicable codes and how to quickly look up any section when they need to verify and substantiate that a weld needs to be reworked. The C-SWIP Welding Inspector course is designed for inspection engineers and supervisory staff. Those with little or no previous welding experience are advised to attend the Certificate in Visual Inspection of Welds course to prepare for this course. In order to attain C-SWIP certification, following steps should be thoroughly followed. Step 1 is to gain sufficient knowledge and experience in terms of welding metallurgy, welding related terms and welding inspections. Step 2 is to choose preferred training and examination center at the most convenient locations. Step 3 is to register for the specific course and examination of C-SWIP. Step 4 is to attend the course with intention to learn and pass, at the desired location step 5 is meant to pass the examination to attain certification and use the title of certified welding inspector. The format for the examination will be in multiple choice questions. There will be total 5 sections in the exam. 
Each section along with allotted time is explained as 30 general multiple choice questions to be answered in 45 minutes, 60 technology questions to be answered in 90 minutes, 24 macroscopic questions to be answered in 45 minutes, 20 plate but questions to be answered in 75 minutes, 20 pipe but questions to be answered in 105 minutes to pass the exam you will need a 70% pass mark on every section. Open book exam will include questions from plate, pipe and macro samples. Plate piece and pipe piece will be provided during the exam and you will be asked to find the welding defects. Mostly time will not be sufficient in the open book exam so it's better to practice the samples of the plate and pipe thoroughly. To save time first note the questions asked on paper then identify the noted defects on the plate and pipe sample finally plot on the answers on the question paper. Don't waste time on identifying the defects which are not asked, no marks will be given in such cases. You should do more practice on the sample plate and pipe before you attempt the exam. There will be general paper and technology paper in terms of closed book C-SWIP examination. General paper part will include very basic definitions and terms. This part will include very simple questions, this part will not be tricky. The technology paper will be complex compared to general questions part. This part will include more technical twisted questions along with confusing answers, options, don't panic. Stay cool minded. Read the questions with a relaxed mind and answer accordingly. It is suggested to read the questions and rule out irrelevant options first, then select the best possible answers choice S. It is also suggested to read the questions at least twice before selecting answers. Don't memorize the answers during exam preparation. Be careful as the examiners can twist the questions and answers. Practice properly before attempting the exam. Practice makes a man perfect. See SWIP certificates once issued to the respective inspector can always be verified through the online verification portal of the Welding Institute. In order to ensure authenticity, we recommend that employers verify the C SWIP or B GAS C SWIP certificate from any prospective employees. The certificate number and date of birth are listed on the certificate, while the customer, candidate number and picture is provided on the ID card once received. Thanks for visiting our channel. I hope you liked our content. In order to pass the C-SWIP exam feel free to contact on the given email address don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.